Hello everybody and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. Today we are currently still working on our little crocodile exhibit. As you can see, we've gotten a lot done. Last episode we got um, these little uh, little roots and like little tangled roots and little contribulations. Um, we have our little cat here, we, um, Captain Kaz, who is doing well over here, kind of guarding the little area. This is actually a little um, crocodile area for like the little crocodile eggs. We're just going to pretend they're crocodile eggs, even though there aren't. We have like kind of no way of doing that, Captain Kaz. Um, but today, things are doing pretty well. I um, am going to try to finish the exhibit today. Well, maybe like where we can like start adding in the plants and like all the foliage inside of here. Because I would like to really like, you know, actually do that. Um, I thought I saw a zombie over here. Oh! There he is. See that zombie over there? Hmm. Let's see. Wow. Oh, heard a zombie. Hello? Zombie? Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Yeah. Yeah, see him? There's a zombie over there. Hmm. Yeah. All right, Lily. You think? Do you think we should, uh, you know, pay, pay, pay one of the visitors of our zoo a little bit of, uh, you know, give them, say a little hi to them, you know? Um, you wanna come on, Lily? Oh, Lily's being derpy again. Ugh, alright, well, maybe we should give, um, maybe she would say hi. We should probably say, you know, hi to one of our visitors. A little zombie, where are you? Hmm, where are you? Huh, not sure. He thinks he's safe down here. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Um, but alright, you guys. Welcome to Zoo Crafting today. We are going to be, like, really focusing and getting this working. Uh, I've been doing a tiny bit of work off camera. Um, and actually, good news. The grass has finally spread. So now, now this won't look all, um, derpy. Um, I was going to see if we had World Edit on here. Let's see. Hold on. Let me get my little MC Edit wand here. Okay, there we go. That's better. Um, so we have actually changed this biome to a wetland biome. Currently, it's still a forest, but hopefully um, in a minute it should change. Oh, there is. There's one of our visitors. Hey, want to say, say hi to our little zoo guest? Hmm, you should probably pay him a little visit, huh? Yeah, all right. Hey, hey zombie, are you enjoying the zoo? Are you enjoying the zoo? Yeah, you know, that's, that's nice, you know. Hope you enjoyed your visit. Yeah, must have, must have been nice. At least I got some more dog food. Um, which dog food really is not a problem anymore. I have plenty of dog food. That reminds me of Tate and see if he's okay. Oh my god, y'all have been snacking on this dog food. Uh, it wasn't too long before I had like 20 of it. Now it's already gone all down the drain. We go we go through dog food so quickly. Uh, but luckily we're getting a lot of it because of the, you know, the zombies that continue to spawn. Not just zombies, like skeletons and creepers and other like monsters I don't even know anymore. What I'd like to do today is continue to add in some mud. I had a really awesome idea when looking at one of the uh, pictures. Like I, li I look at like real zoos and uh, like reptile houses, just like this one, for inspiration. Um, you know, because I want to do my own stuff. So I had an awesome idea of making a waterfall that would kind of like channel underground right here, and there would be kind of like a little river going along right here. Um, and then this is like this is like kind of like the little crocodile nest. I'm still kind of like working on it a little bit. We should probably add like a little bit more mud right here. Um, and in, in, in a little bit, we're going to be talking about some of the American crocodiles and how poorly endangered there are. Like I looked at their population and it's like not even 50,000. It's bad. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about some of that. And today's episode is going to be nice. Look at the grass finally spreading. This should be a swamp land by now. We might have to rejoin in a minute. Um, Yes, that's awesome. Oh, at least we, like, kind of got our little little staircase to kind of get above here. Oh, except Lily's being derpy again and just falling down. Um, we can probably just go ahead and, like, remove remove this now. We'll kind of leave the staircase just on purpose so I can get here in and out a little bit more easier. Um, but yeah, oh, look at Lily. Oh, Lily. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, oh, no. Oh, Lily. Lily, are, are, you're in the mud and you don't seem to be okay. Lily! Oh my god, what is going on? I, th I think she's just glitched. Okay, I, d I don't need drowning in the mud. Mm, oh dear. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't need another never-ending story 2.0. <laughs> oh, that sad horse scene was so sad. Um, anyway, so... Let me see, let's go ahead and get this. I'm on flush. Um, we need more apples. I was going to see if we can head to the apple. Oh, Lily is okay. Okay, good. Oh, Tate. Tate, you should be snacking out of your food bowl. Oh my god, see what I mean? These, these dogs... Ouch. I'm too much to handle sometimes. I can't sprint. Tate! Oh my god. Tate! You have a food bowl here for a reason. Yep. 
Snack out of your food bowl. There's no reason for you to be starving like like this. Come on, Tate. Tate. Come on, eat. Eat. There we go. All right, I know you should be watching Junior. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick some more apples inside of our little... Uh, our little exhibit right here because we really need we really need apples we need something to eat like we have been running a little bit low on food lately um and i was gonna see if we could consult the fish experts in a minute uh, meaning we can go to the village of fish sandwiches which we recently found um again and see if we can get their get their little famous fish sandwiches going again so that we can hopefully just eat eat again you know because it's been it's been a little it's been a little bit tight on food lately Let's see, do I have another apple? Let's go and get this one. I left the glass open on purpose so I can get the apples a little bit easier because I just could not, could not bear seeing me su suffer with, you know, with the low amount of hunger I have. Um, there we go. We got another piece of rotten flesh. Probably some more zombies dying. Let's hope not when, when those zombies weren't Junior. Junior? Are you doing okay? Oh, Junior's still okay. Good, 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 Junior. All right, here we go. All right. Reminds me of Bob. Bob? You were the sheep who was here last episode. Oh, you're still here. Oh, okay, you're still here. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob the sheep. How you doing? Yes, just viewing viewing your little, like, uh, little tree watchtower. Oh, that'd be aw I wonder if I could maybe, like, have Bob go on top of that tree. That'd be awesome. That'd be, like, the king of the sheep, I guess. I don't know, but you, we can always, like, fantasize that you're the king of sheep. Are you the king of the sheep? Watching above the treetops, being all wise and being like that, Bob? Yeah? Hmm. Alright. Well, anyway. Um, oh, look at these clovers. These are beautiful. Um, Alright, so what was, it, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I was going to go ahead and get some water. Because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a little water canopy um, that would kind of go underground. So I'm going to get these two buckets of water right here. And let's go ahead and uh, go down our little our little uh grass staircase. Hey, Agent Noodles. I think I think I want to have another cat. I was thinking I had thought of a really funny name I could use for my for our new little kitten that we're gonna have. We'll be training him up to be part of the cat security team. All right. Yes, Captain Kaz. Oh. Really? Oh my God. Y'all are being so derpy. Um. Oh, I should have had you watch Junior. Okay, it's okay, Tate. We have, I have not seen you in a little bit. It's okay though. All right. Let's go and get she right here. Hmm. Like that. Yeah. Let's go and have like the roots kind of sunken in the water a little there we go kind of like that oh this water is not infinite remember it's not infinite here we go and i want to have like a little kind of like a little waterfall going along right here and i think that'd be awesome we should probably make like a little infinite water source right here so that we can keep on getting water as we please because it does get a little bit uh, time consuming getting all the water hopefully all the grass should be coming up pretty soon and you know hopefully we don't have to worry about that anymore here we go see just like that infinite water here we go and then let's get all this there we go let's get even more water perfect all right do 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 do, do. yeah look at this look at all that that looks awesome oh oh geez and then, yeah, we're gonna have, like, mud around here. We'll kind of make this, like, a little... Kind of, like, a little lake. Um, it'll be next to a window, too, so you can, like, view it. It'll be really cool. And then, let's go ahead and just kind of fill this up with water. Okay. And then, last time we kind of... We messed with water was in that sea crate exhibit. So, you know, let's, tr let's try to learn our lesson not to flood the entire exhibit again. And it's not like we have, like, any plants to drown and kill, you know? Except for our willow tree. But our willow tree is a little bit more, uh, durable, I guess we should say. Recreating this. There we go. Let's kind of fill this up. There we go. Kind of like a little waterfall. Nice and simple. All right. I'm just gonna put this right here. Put that there. Um, and we should probably get some like little aquatic plants we can use, like kind of like a maybe kelp or something like that. Yeah, maybe we can help the kelp. <laughs> help the kelp. Oh jeez. Um, oh, this little, I don't want that little there. There we go. Alright, we got that. And see, so we need more water. Oh, geez, the water's getting a little bit annoying. Having to put down constantly. Here we go. Oh, didn't mean to put that there. Here we go, fill this water up a little bit. There we go. 
Oh man, lots of mud and water management. Oh, you guys okay? You've been yelp yelping a lot. You need to. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I'm, I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry, Captain Kaz. I know you hate water. I know. Or, or, or are you not that type of cat? Are you not the type of cat that hates water? Not sure. All right, because usually cats hate water. Um, I guess they'll be fine drinking it, but they just hate like water. You know what I mean? Just being in like pools of water. They don't like that for some reason. Uh, that's just what I've been. That's what I've heard and been told. All right, but here we go. Let's go ahead and continue to fill this up. Come on. There we go. Is it filling up? Nope. Still need to do a little bit more. So the idea is to basically. Oh, it's running out. Okay. I don't want our um, infinite water source as I thought we were running out. Um, so we're gonna have like a little, kind of like a tiny little, um, river going along right here. So the water will kind of go, like it'll have like a nice little stream of water just kind of going on the side of the exhibit. I also decided to keep this little willow tree. Um, we'll actually keep it here and like maybe like make it into like a custom one. So we'll kind of just like use this as like a base and like kind of make it into a cool custom one maybe. I'm not sure. Um, all right. I'm just going to continue to put this water here. This water is being okay. It's like being a little bit stubborn. We got that. Is this infinite? Nope. Here we go. I hear rats in the walls again. I've been hearing a lot of stuff, and I think it's because in the, like where we dug this out, it is near a lot of caves and stuff. So, yeah, that probably could be why. And let's go and add in all this water water right here there we go perfect oh wow look at this willow tree too looks awesome with combined with it i absolutely love it here we go so we got that i don't i kind of don't want like this side right here i kind of want it to be like more of a waterfall look but we'll see yeah it doesn't want to it wasn't want to budge hmm uh, actually i have a cool idea i was gonna see if we could add if we could make it to where I was gonna see if we could add string, kind of like where you can add like string like this. I was thinking if I could do that and make it stay how I want. But I don't know if I can make it stay. Yeah, I could make it like I could put string right there and then make that stay. I think that's an awesome idea. Cause I kind of want to make it look like a little bit more of a waterfall like that. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't want to. See, yeah, it's being, it's being derpy. Uh Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Wish I could get, like, invisible blocks or something like that. Hmm, yeah, see, it just doesn't want to stay. It's being... It's being kind of annoying. Yeah, see, if I could just get it to, like, stay like this. I guess that's okay. Let's see if we can, like, maybe, like, do that. Yeah, like that. Can't get rid of the dirt. Okay, perfect. That's that's what I wanted. Okay, good. I didn't want, like, a whole episode of just me trying to do that. So, we'll do the same on this side. Let's go ahead and do that. Will it... There we go. Okay, perfect. That was a lot easier. And then let's go ahead and fill this up. Perfect. All right. I'm really curious to see how it looks like on the other side. I guess we might as well take this opportunity to snooze. All right, come on, Lilane Tate. Here we go. Come on, pup ups. Um, I was gonna see if I had any lily pads I can use, because I want to add, like, a little river. I could put lily pads in there. Um, I was- I wish you could, like, have flower- flowering lily pads. I think that'd be cool. Um, so, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Alright. Doo-doo-doo. Um, also, that- that- those little commands were, um, MC Edit, so that's- I use that to change the biomes, if you're just wondering what that was. Alright, Junior! Your- your guard dog, Tate, is here! Um, yeah, I know you can hear me. There I go. I hear you. I hear you, Junior. Alright, here you go. You can come with me, Lily. Um, here we go. Here's a fish. Thank you, Tate. Thanks for all the fish. Um, let's see. Do I have any lily pads on me? No, I don't. Okay. And then, let me go ahead and, um, go back to the staff lounge real quick. Um, I want to get, like, a personal apple tree of my own so I could just kind of harvest apples. Bob is still staying wise on the, t on the, on the, on the tall trees, you know? Just kind of standing there. Hmm. Very weird. Very odd. An odd but wise kind of sheep. You know? Kind of wandering on the treetops. Very wise, you know? Huh. Alright, here we go. Um, you go. For some reason, my finger's, like, really hurting. <laughs> anyway. 
All right, let's go ahead. Oh, here's some apples. Look at this. This is also another, another type of a genus or species of apple trees that can also produce apples like this, which is perfect. Thank you. All right, perfect. All right. All right, here you go. Here's Mudloaf. <laughs> Mudloaf, such a he's such a goofy name. All right, you know, do you think do you think you two could have a uh, Agent Katie and uh, Major Calhoun? Ma Major Calhoun, can you can you get it together? Oh, uh, Agent Katie. Oh my God, Agent Katie. Agent Katie, also the little chick we hatched earlier grew up. We need to deposit them inside of the. Oh my God, another egg. Okay, um, Ma Major Calhoun. Okay, sit up. Thank you. Um, oh, why are you running out of the house? Do you, do you just need to release yourself from the house? Oh, okay, here's Major Calhoun. Oh, and then here's Agent Katie. Okay, I need, I want you guys to have a baby. You know? Would that, would that be nice to do? Uh, we can make, we could have like a little unnamed, an unnamed cat. Let's see, I only have one fish. For once, I don't have fish. Alright, here's some more. Do you guys want to have a kitten? Yeah? You do? Here. Let me come along right here. There's a, there's a, you know, here, there's a chicken. You know, I know, I know, I know ocelot blood. I know ocelot, uh, ocelot hunting is still in your blood. You know, you know, me slaughter that chicken. <laughs> Alright, I guess you guys want to ha have a, have a baby out here. Alright, here we go. Fish, fish, baby, baby. <gasps> yes, baby kitten. Hello. Welcome to the pack. I'm going to take you, I'm going to take your baby away right away. I'm going to take your baby right away. The first thing you've done is sit on a chest. Noted. All right. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna have you come with me. Oh, oh do you want to get off the chest? Get off the chest. What even is in, in the, here? Just a bunch of crap. Is well, not crap. Just a bunch of random stuff. Here we go. Here, little kitten. Yes. Right. Just go along right there. And I'll meet you there. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get some little, like, like little aquatic plants. Um, right here. We need plants. I want lily pads. In fact. Lily pads. We need cattails. Oh yeah, lily pads. Perfect. Um, I need cattails as well. I think I already have some though. Back at the uh, the reptile house. Let's see, dwarf elder. Hmm, looks like a wet wetlands plant to me. I kind of just gathered some quick stuff and like kind of just ran away. Let's see. Ooh, flat mushrooms. Perfect. Herm. What else? Grass and moss. You know, I know. Um. Wetlands can be a little bit swampy or stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and meet our new kitten at the reptile house. All right, here you go meow. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. Do 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 do. Oh, I hear the cougars. Yes, I promise. I promise I'll get to your exhibit soon. Soon, exact right after the crocodiles. I promise. All right, here we go. Right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and keep going. Here's our little willow tree. Awesome, awesome. Um, oh my. God, my the secret escaped again. I swear, I'm I I would I I would I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. He escaped again, guys. I don't know what to do. I have filled up this glass. I have done everything, and it's just like no matter what I do, it's like not severe enough. Do you just want to be in another exhibit? Is is that is that what it is? Secret, like I I. I don't know what to do with you. You know what? I just... Ugh. I'm going to quarantine you in here for now. And think about what you've done. You were suspended from your exhibit. Get back in here, Secret. We tried to give you... I tried to give you the best glowing sea cave exhibit. And yet, you're still not pleased. I want to see how you're escaping, though. I want to know... I think he's, like, slithering off. I think that's what he's doing. Here, get... Get... Ugh! Secret! No! Oh my god. Once we have this place, like, in entirely enclosed, because we'll have, like, a proper entrance. Um, okay, here we go. Um, when we'll have, like, a... We'll have this place a little bit more enclosed. We'll have a, an entrance. Um, there'll be more ways to access the exhibits in a minute. Um, hopefully it won't be... Severe. Oh gosh. No. Wait a minute. Secret! Don't eat my kitten! Okay. Let's get you in here. I don't know why you're taking damage. Do I just need to, like... Yeah, I see, I think he's, like, climbing. I have no idea. Like, I don't know anymore. Okay, you can stay there. 
Ugh, I swear to God, I just, like, don't even know what to do anymore. He's escaped, like, seven times already. Oh, jeez. Yes. I think your name should be, maybe, maybe, like, Agent, Agent Tiny Paws. You know? Agent, Agent Tiny Paws? Agent Tiny, Tiny Paws? Do you think that should be your new name? Well, I like it. All right. Um, go, go ahead, let's go ahead and meet your, um, uh, let's see, maybe you should, maybe older sister, yeah, maybe older, older sister, um, from the bl bloodline. I think you're gonna be a boy, so Agent Tiny Paws. All right, here we go. So, yeah, you're assigned to the agents. Oh, how does this look? All right. Oh, awesome! That's what it's looking like, awesome! Oh, it looks so good, you guys, it looks so good, especially, like, the little willow roots going down there. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go ahead and um, get some more work done. Um, Alright. Here we go. Do, do, do. And we'll go ahead and get into the American Crocodiles in a minute, I promise. I know I've been kind of putting it off. Alright. Um, oh, looks like this biome has finally changed. Look at that. It's changing into a swampland now. Perfect. Yes. Alright, here we go. You can stay there. Um, keep guard. Make sure nothing gets exploded. Um, as you are a part of the cat security team now. Trained from a young kitten. Captain Kaz will teach you the ways and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so. Um, what I want to do is I want to fill up this like little lake right here. Oh, some of it's not all um, swampland. No. Okay. And um, yeah, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding in some of the plants right here. Um, and I actually want to add in a little, um, little like water feature. Where there'll be like a river. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. But it's going to come out like this. Well, I guess right there, yeah. And it'll go like down right here. And then like, like right here. Sort of, okay, here. Captain Kaz, go next to, uh, next to, uh, Tiny Paws. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Yes, all my love, lo lovely, lovely kittens. And we got you, and then let's go ahead and kind of like, yeah, have it under the roots. That'll look awesome. Here we go. Oh, jeez, Captain Kaz, you always you always seem to be in the, the way. Here, please excuse me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then let's go ahead and do like that. Hmm, something like that. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. sure how I should kind of make this work. Here you go. Honestly, I thought the, the river would kind of be more trouble. Okay, this is actually kind of being a lot longer than I expected it to. So, yeah. Maybe like that, sort of. Hmm. Let's go and just add in the water right here. So the water will come out and pour out like this. Oh, look at the watercolor. That looks awesome. It like fits it so good. Here you go, Lily. Go, go ahead and roam if you want to. Let's go ahead and add in the water. Look at that. Looks so good. Let's go and add in some water. So about the American crocodiles. Well, um, basically, um, the American crocodiles are um, once very, very endangered. Currently, their population is around twenty thousand. Um, when they were first, um, when we were, when they were first, you know, doing the zoos and everything, um, they were highly endangered. Like they were hunted to almost extinction. Like it, it got bad. Um, and it got to the point to where they were, um, they were pretty much extinct in the wild and they were, they were doing breeding centers and making sure to keep their numbers up. Cause the thing is, is like, if a species, um, you know, gets extinct, like there's none left, they can't like bring them back. Like there is no bringing them back. Also this water is being a little bit annoying. Oh, be careful, Lily. So like I said, there's like no bringing the species back once it's extinct. Um, and you know, like I said, that's why there's breeding programs you know, stuff to, like, get their numbers back up, and stuff like that. Why is this water being so goofy? I don't know. Why do, why do you not want to work? Why do you not want to cooperate? Hmm. Let's see. No! Ugh! This water! Mm, it's a lot of management, clearly. Okay, there we go. Got it working. Okay. Alright, perfect. So the water will come up kind of like that, in like a little stream, and then the water will go down right here. Um, so there's actually a difference between the American Crocodile and the American Alligator. Uh, the American Alligator is not actually um, as threatened. It is really not that threatened, but the American Crocodile, like I said, almost went extinct. 
So, it, yeah, it was really scary. Uh, the places you can find them at are usually around Florida. Um, yeah, Florida and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, pretty much in, in the, the rainforest um, kind of part of Florida like that. So, yeah, that's pretty pretty much like one of the only locations I can really know. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Maybe like... Hmm. It's kind of like hard to understand. Like, let's see if I can like, yeah, do that. Let's make it like a little bit thinner. There we go, yes. Now, um... Hmm. I'm trying not to make it like so straight. There we go. It's gonna have it like that. There we go. This is looking like a little bit more of a proper proper river. There we go. And this part actually isn't like the water isn't matching correctly. Um alright. We got roller trees looking awesome. Like this is looking fantastic. And then I guess we can go ahead and um how much time left? Okay. Um I guess we can go ahead and sprinkle some of our plants. Um let's see, what do these dwarf elders look like? I'm gonna see and test them out. And see what they kind of look like. Oh, they do look they do look really nice. There's so many good plants to gather and you know use for our exhibits. That, that's what I love about the plant mega pack mod. There's just so many plants. It's perfect for all the different biomes and everything. Um swamp milkweed. Um oh the moss. Let's see, club rush. Um uh, yeah, I want I do want to use a lot of mushrooms. Let's I want to use the cattails. Mainly like the water plants I want to kind of use right now. So, let's use these. Um, let's keep that right there. Right there. Okay. Um, and then we'll kind of just go go from there. So, use the water right here. This will only be temporary, of course. And um, we'll add, we'll probably add like a little bit more of water right here. Um, but other than that, this is looking awesome. I love how this is looking. Um, like, this is just fantastic. Okay. So, I'm going to add in some Club Rush. Um, there we go, kind of like that, where you can basically see them. Just going to, maybe one more right there. Um, let's remove this one and maybe put it right here. Maybe right there. And then, ooh, we should add some, like, lily pads, like, maybe, like, one or two. Uh, let's take this one and just remove it right there. Maybe one in the corner. It's going to have them face different directions. Make them more realistic. Come on. This is a zoo we're talking about. Can I not make it face a different direction? Oh, okay. There we go. We want, we want them to face different directions. There we go. Let's add one in the corner. There we go. Perfect. Looks awesome. Wish you, I wish there were, like, flowering lily pads. So it would kind of, like, bloom or whatever. Um, I want cattails. The cattails will only go next to water. What about these kinds? Oh, well, I kind of like these ones better. It's okay. We'll add, like, cattails right here. Um, there you go. Kind of just, like, lightly sprinkling the plants, as I call it. Oh, there you go. Look at this. This is looking so good. Just, like, adding the plants, like, really just, like, like, kind of just transforms it a little bit. Um, I want to add in some mud, too. Kind of, like, right here. Just for some light, light details. So, I'll add in mud right here. Perfect. There we go. Um, so yeah, like I said, the the uh, did you know that the fam female um, American crocodiles can actually be bigger? Um, usually, when they try to mate and you know get in their little mating mating cycle, you know, get into heat, um, they can <laughs> they can uh, usually be actually bigger than the males, which I thought was actually a little bit crazy. But yes, the females can get actually bigger than um, the male male crocodiles. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of doing a little bit more research. Um, I think in the next episode, um, which will be episode 70, I mean, I can't believe it. Well, they'll probably be doing like hour-long specials just to kind of like get this done and catch up because like we've been getting kind of a little bit sidetracked sometimes and you know, we, we, we do that sometimes. It's okay. But like, you know, we need to get this done. You know, we should have been already getting this done already. You know, we should have been already adding in the crocodiles. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we kind of been uh, getting a little bit sidetracked. So, in the next episode, I think that's when we will, like, really, like, just get this done. You know? And, you know, take it to heart. Get it done. You know? Um, let's see. We got some more club rushes like that. I love the club rushes. They look awesome. Um, let me go ahead and we'll place this all with dirt. We're not having any stone at all. We're going to go ahead and just kind of 
completely put some um, dirt inside of here and um, kind of like work along the exhibit. Um, and so yeah, the females can lay a lot of, lot, a lot of crocodiles, especially when they're, um, a lot of eggs, especially when they're young. Um, and so like I said, that's kind of a little bit all I know, but like I said, the American crocodiles, you know, almost went extinct, and that's kind of scary. This is why people try to, um, save the species and, you know, let them not get extinct, because sometimes, you know, species like the dinosaurs, like the meteor thing, you know, happening, and, you know, a lot of people don't believe the meteor theory, I mean, I guess I do, but you know, and how the dinosaurs went extinct and all that, you know, because like I said, once this, like, because like I said, once the species is gone, you can't revive them, so that, that's why people are trying to, you know, do breeding programs to help their species climb back up and release them into the wild and do all that stuff, like the dodos went extinct, the, uh, Tasmanian tigers went extinct, um, yeah, just, I'm just naming a few species, for example, oh, a creeper! Ugh, this is why we need cats. Hmm... Looks like we got a visitor. An explosive visitor. Hmm. This is where we, we will need you. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I've had a creeper blow up my exhibit, and I was so mad. I was like, ah! Um, so, yeah, just basic stuff stuff around that. You know, because, you know, they're, you know, the dinosaurs are extinct. It is, it is what it is. It's mm, probably for the best. Um, you know, as just seeing Jurassic Park, you know. That would honestly be a cool idea. Jurassic Park. As soon as we get the little fossils and archaeology mod working again, that would be a cool idea to do. Um, this is that. This is actually their little um, nest right here. Yeah, this is their little uh, crocodile nest right here. I want to make sure there's. Do I have any dirt left? I actually don't have any dirt left. Oh geez. Um, well, that's kind of what we got going on right now. This exhibit is looking beautiful. I love it. I am super proud of the work we've gotten done. But in the next episode. We need to focus, okay? We, we we really need to, like, focus and, like, get stuff done. Um, as soon as the grass spreads a little bit more, we're getting progress done a little bit more day by day. So I got this done, and then this side, I want to go ahead and get this completely done by next episode. Episode 70. And then we can hopefully soon add in the crocodiles, which we'll probably have to head over to the Village of Light to do that for. But alright, you guys. I'll see you next episode, you guys. Goodbye. Oh, Lily. You're just struggling in the, the, the mud again. Yes. You can money pause? Money pause again? Yes. <laughs>